With the release of the new Microsoft 365 Copilot app, licensed users get access to a brand new feature, Copilot Notebooks. But on the face of it, this new capability that lets you add content, instructions, and then chat within the context of the notebook, doesn't seem all that new. Can't we do all that already with agents? So in this video, I'm going to compare Copilot Notebooks to Copilot Agents. Are they essentially the same thing? Are they complementary tools? Or has Microsoft just done again what it often does so well? Introduce yet another way to do exactly the same thing you could before. Stick with me as we dive in. Hi, I'm Nick. I help smaller businesses achieve more using AI, specializing in Microsoft 365 Copilot and Copilot extensibility. If you'd be interested in finding out more about how I can help you, check out the links down in the video description. And if you find this video useful, it would be great if you could give it a like, share it, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Copilot Notebooks are undoubtedly Microsoft's response to ChatGPT's projects or Google's Notebook LM. Notebooks are designed to give you a specific place to build AI chats dedicated to a single project or connected to an element of work. You create a notebook based on a topic, you add a bunch of grounding content associated with that topic, currently up to 20 individual sources, and you add instructions on how you want the responses in the notebook to be framed. Just like a real notebook, you can even add your own notes. But these are just Copilot pages and end up counting toward the 20 sources limit. From there, you can chat with it and manage your chat history within the scope of that notebook. Unlike traditional paper notebooks, but very much like Google's Notebook LM, we can even create an audio overview from our notebook content. Superficially, at least, agents look very similar. When you start building an agent, you specify a set of instructions and knowledge or grounding content. And while instructions can get very complex for agents focused on taking actions, for retrieval-based agents aligned with the kind of thing you would use a notebook for, they can be extremely simple. Again, up to 20 knowledge sources can be specified, and while agents cannot generate audio overviews of their knowledge, well, yet at least, they do have other special characteristics like adding starter prompts to help you get that chat off the ground quickly. But below the surface, there are major differences. For example, when I go to add content to my notebook, I see a wide range of items available to me across OneDrive and SharePoint, and a whole collection of different file types, including OneNote and loop-based content. I've seen some overviews of this product that have suggested that notebooks can include any of your Microsoft 365 data, but this isn't entirely true. You can't add emails here, or meeting transcripts, Teams chats, or more esoteric things like forms data. But this is genuinely among the most flexible set of options in terms of grounding content we've seen outside of the core Microsoft 365 Copilot work chat experience. But if I open the knowledge pane on the Agent Builder experience, I see less options. The range of files I can include are more limited, I don't have the ability to include OneNote or Loop, and I am completely cut off from content in OneDrive. This is a SharePoint-only experience. In fact, even if I paste in a link to a file in OneDrive, it doesn't cooperate, it just gives me an error message. However, it's not clear-cut that notebooks are just more flexible than agents. Here, I can now add references to Teams chats, to emails, or SharePoint and web search. There's a clear difference between these two experiences, but not one with lines of demarcation that make obvious logical sense. The options when prompting an agent or a notebook are entirely the same. Here you can see context IQ in an agent chat, and you see exactly the same context IQ in a notebook chat. So the issue isn't these tools being able to access this stuff via the Copilot Orchestrator, it's what's been baked into that creation experience. The other important difference is to do with sharing. I could share an agent widely within my organisation. And while sharing of notebooks was shown as a feature in one of the announcement videos that Microsoft showed at one of their events, so far, for what's been released now, sharing is not available. So let's start off with a really simple retrieval agent. I have the Microsoft Power Platform Licensing Guide in a PDF. I'll add the licensing guide to the notebook or as agent knowledge and provide some really basic instructions. Provide clear, factual answers for a non-technical audience. Use bullet lists or checklists to break up information into understandable chunks. As always, you're seeing content in a demo environment here. 
let's try a really simple prompt we know is covered by the licensing guide. What are the options for licensing Power Automate to utilize premium connectors? Both do what looks like a fairly good job. Off the bat, it appears in notebooks, Copilot has been optimized to look a little bit more friendly with some line separation and an icon thrown in. But overall, they follow the thrust of the question and can answer it from the materials provided in a very similar way. This is what we would expect, as foundationally it makes sense that they are sharing the same orchestration layer and AI model. Now let's think of something that isn't covered by the grounding content. I have project files and connected data within my tenant here on a fictitious project called Project Breadcrumb. My prompt is, what's the latest information on Project Breadcrumb? Give me an up-to-date overview of potential competitors. Now remember, nothing about Project Breadcrumb is included in the grounding knowledge provided here. The agent refuses to participate. It seems its abilities are well constricted to the content I have given it access to and its model knowledge. So far, there's no toggle to turn this off yet, like there is in the custom agents in Copilot Studio. However, our notebook does something that is rather strange. In its setup, one of the grounding options available for agents that absolutely was not available for notebooks were emails and chats. But the notebook conversation has just gone off and found chat and email content that is absolutely about Project Breadcrumb. Now, because this is content that is already present in my own user account, this isn't a security issue, but it is kind of odd. It's actually unclear to me whether this is a bug or a feature, as the sport pages on notebooks aren't yet all that robust. I reported it to Microsoft as an issue, and I suspect this is something that either will be fixed or more clarification will arrive on. Web search is not an option for notebooks, so on that front, if you need to access websites, you need an agent. In fact, the notebooks UI is pretty disingenuous in relation to this, as it offers a link as an option for content to be added, but that link must point to one of the content types it's happy with. On the notebook side, you can't create a page in an agent and have it automatically added to the knowledge of that agent. In the notebook, I can either take an answer and add it, or as we already saw, just create one from scratch. This is the functionality that feels most like a notebook, but frankly, that feels rather tenuous. In terms of finding your conversations elsewhere, well, for agents, they drop into the general conversations section of the new app and can be searched from there. Same is true for pages created from chats with agents. Whereas for notebooks, everything is self-contained. The chats are available just in that notebook. And as we saw for pages, you create them and they drop directly into it as a reference. Be careful with this though. A notebook will only reference the most recently added 20 files. So if you create a lot of pages in your notebook, the valuable grounding information you added might fall off the bottom of that list. A more accurate portrayal of how you would use a notebook might be something like this. Here I have my notebook for Project Breadcrumb. I have added references from across SharePoint and OneDrive and included file types like OneNote notes and loop pages. Out of the 20 possible references, I've added five, but as I add notes, that will likely expand. And I have simple instructions for basic responses, nothing as complex as we might normally see for an agent. This is a simple use case that feels fitting for a notebook. It encapsulates a project and utilizes the notebook's special abilities to delve both into your OneDrive and SharePoint alongside each other. However, it comes with some big penalties that are less easily fixed here than the alternative solution of just copying some OneDrive files to a SharePoint site to make them available to Agent Builder. First, there's no web grounding. So research projects, which you would think would be the territory of notebooks, are completely out. And second, right now at least, there's no sharing. You might think the best use case would be a team or project notebook, but anything that requires collaboration is out. It's early days for notebooks yet, so I'm sure there will be more features coming. The only one on the roadmap so far is the introduction of researcher functionality inside of notebooks, so we can't be definitive on what exactly that will look like. So what should our takeaways be? Does your small or medium-sized business need help adopting Microsoft 365 Copilot? Achieving success with Copilot isn't just about buying some licenses. You need a plan. You need the right technical foundations. And you need to help your team develop the right skills and habits around AI use. My Microsoft 365 Copilot Adoption Package offers all the key services and training you need to be successful. 
I will guide you from the start of your journey through a series of steps to set you on the right path for Copilot success. Take a look at the links down below to find out more, or if you're needing something more custom, or you have a specific project you need help with, reach out to learn more about working with me. I set out on this video wanted to understand the differences between Copilot Agents and Copilot Notebooks, and insofar as I've demonstrated quite a few differences, in that respect this exploration has been successful. But just because we know what those differences are, doesn't mean that we understand them. Why can agents not work with OneDrive or a wider variety of file types? Why can notebooks not search the web? Why do notebooks ground themselves only to the files you specify, but will then pull in emails and chats beyond that? The purpose behind these differences is not entirely clear to me, and means that the most striking reasons to use one technology or the other seems more to do with arbitrary technical limitations, rather than some groundbreaking usability benefit of one over the other. The most logical explanation for notebooks, in my opinion, is that it slots neatly into a gap where Microsoft was not directly competing, with projects in ChatGPT or Notebook LM from Google or other similar tools, even though Notebooks is at best similar. And I think this constant innovation through imitation is a shame. Instead of doubling down on agentic experiences and making them relevant, valuable and understandable by all users, Microsoft has muddied the water by creating an imperfect dichotomy of features where whichever side you land, you win some and you lose some in terms of raw capability. Personally, I would like to see Microsoft focus less on chasing down competing features and more so on building value into the core Copilot chat experience that opens the door both to Microsoft 365 Copilot's primary capabilities and the custom capabilities of your agents. Is there truly a need for notebooks or for search or for a create tab or numerous other things in the new Copilot app? If Copilot's chat interface is to be the UI for AI, which is Microsoft's tagline. Perhaps my dream is a Copilot that in terms of user experience is more like an early 2000s Google, where the interface is super simple and all the power is hidden behind an easily understandable universal starting point. Notebooks are certainly not a bad feature. The team that built them has done a good job. But ultimately, I would like to see more utility come to agents more quickly versus feature proliferation, and for the user interface for Copilot to become simpler and more streamlined, rather than just adding on countless tabs and new AI options. I'm not coming to Copilot to get Microsoft's version of what ChatGPT or Google Gemini delivers. I'm coming to Copilot to get the AI vision that will define work for the next few decades, as much as Windows and Microsoft Office did for the last. What do you think? Have you played with notebooks yet? What's your impression? Thanks for watching through to the end of the video. Until the next one, bye bye.